My name is Dave Brown. I'm the owner of Spinner, which is a studio and also a production company and a publishing company. That is in downtown Bellingham. That's really cool because I'm behind the theater in a pretty awesome part of town. I actually started in my home okay. recording choirs. I was doing upwards of maybe 50 choir concerts a year. Wow. So I had a computer and a screen. Actually, I had a 19-inch heavy tube monitor that I would pack around. So I would go do, do the recording on up to six mics, actually up to eight mics, come back and do a lot of editing and release a CD and sell it to the members, sell it to the audience. Um, I was able to start buying gear at that point. Okay. Um, some good microphones, more cables, another computer, you know. So that was kind of how I got going. And then I got into Crown Plaza. I had a little office space that I was mm -hmm. renting. I ended up being able to bring bands in and actually record music aside from choral music. And then that was a little more exciting than choral music, so I just got into doing that and recording yeah. a lot of bands. Uh, what got me interested in uh, working with sound and recording is probably com the ability to do it in a computer and realizing, oh, I can do a number of tracks without having a gigantic tape machine that I can't right. afford and a gigantic mixing board that I can't afford. So I met someone who was doing uh, synthesizer editing and MIDI stuff in the computer and I had outboard synthesizers at one time and you're always loading patches and trying to find the sound you use for a song and that was all sort of automated in the workstations that were coming out on the computer so mm -hmm. kind of got me sucked in yeah sampling uh, I was doing a lot of sampling so I think the computer the, the computer making recording easy and and sound good is what made me think I could really get into this I think the way to have an impact on someone who is trying to record ideas and music and, and all that, any of that stuff, singing, playing instruments, is to make them comfortable mm -hmm. and to indicate to them in the process that you know what they're going for, that you, you're, you're sympathetic with what they're doing, right. and that allows them to really kind of get into their flow, whatever that is. So less about, oh, you know, being super critical on technical things and more about getting them comfortable first. And then once they're comfortable, then then getting picky about the sound. Um, I'm always behind the mic and thinking technically, and and then trying to put myself into other people's music. And so when I get to actually throw the technical crap away and just make music, I'm pretty happy. That's and then that's when I realize, oh man, I have this killer space and I've all this gear and instruments and people. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's my those are the best memories, and I need to do some more of that soon, or I'll go crazy. But yeah, I love what I'm doing. I mean, every, it's it, time just flies by. Yeah. And I've never had a job before where, oh shoot, my 10 hours is up. You know, but yeah. that's what happens with this. I never have enough time and I'm never going fast enough. There's always a lot to do and I like it, so.